Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for a yearly favorites video. I don't always do favorites videos. It's one thing I kind of want to do more of in 2017. But uh, I did want to do a yearly favorites video because I had some products that I really, really loved this year. And I wanted to talk a little bit about them. So I'm not going to talk in great detail about them because I don't want this to be a super long video. But we'll see. So if you guys want to see what my favorite products for 2016 were, I'll just keep watching. I don't wear face makeup every day. Uh, I just don't really like the feel of it on my face. Um, and I just, it's just nothing that I wear every day. But when I do wear it, my favorite product that I discovered this year was the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. Um, I use the shade 520 Light. This is probably the most comfortable thing that I found for my skin, or for me. It is for oily skin, which I definitely have. I don't feel like it moves around a lot. If it, I can't say that it stays all day, but it just sort of fades. It doesn't really break up, and it doesn't look terrible when it's breaking up versus, you know, you know, slipping around and like patches of dry skin it just sort of fades on my skin which I much prefer uh, so I really was kind of impressed by this I didn't really expect to like this that much but this is kind of the thing that I found myself reaching for when I wanted to wear BB cream or on filming days if I had time to do a full-on face of makeup which I don't often have time for <laughs> this is what I was reaching for the next thing is um, a concealer and uh, I use this for concealing blemishes and not for like highlighting. I'm, I'm weird. I'm very lazy when it comes to that. But the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer, and I am in the shade Light. It's a serum concealer, so it's very liquidy feeling. It doesn't feel cakey. I'm a picker, so any dry patches that I have uh, around my acne is entirely my fault because I've picked at them and there's like scabs. That's my fault. That's gross. I know. But on the whole, I really like this for covering blemishes. It's comfortable to wear. It doesn't feel greasy. And I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this guy. Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum for face and like eye things. We'll do face things because I have less of those. I have three. Um, as you probably know, I was painting a palette that last year, so there were two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight in that palette. So that is mainly what I wore on my cheeks, but when I just couldn't handle using those any longer and I needed a break, I was using these products. The first is the Becca uh, Mineral Blush in Wild Honey. This is one of my favorite blushes of all time. It's just very neutral. It goes with anything. It's really beautiful. It's a matte blush you can't even really see it on my on my hand but it's so beautiful it looks lovely on the skin and I really really love this blush the other blush that is kind of my go-to when I don't really know what to wear and I don't want to wear wild honey or tarts exposed <laughs> and then is an elf blush and this is the elf pressed mineral blush in the color jet setter I think these are like three dollars I love this blush so much. I'm actually shocked that there's no um, like visible dip in this blush. I use this blush all the time. It is just lovely. It goes with everything. These are very pigmented. Um, this one isn't quite as much as some of the others because it's just a, a more neutral shade, but they're extremely pigmented. They don't look, they're not powdery at all. I love these blushes. I think there's only four colors available, which is not enough. Elf, please come out with more colors in this formula because I seriously love these blushes. I have all four of the colors and they're all lovely, but this is just the one that I reach for on the regular. Uh, when I wasn't using the highlight in the Lorac Resort palette that I was panning, I was kind of going back and forth between a few. Uh, Becca Champagne Pop, which is probably my favorite highlighter. I love, I love that one. But I also was reaching a lot for Becca's Opal, which is this, this guy right here. It's a very beautiful 
pale opal color. It looks, it's more gold than, it's like a white gold sort of. Um, but it's just really beautiful. These are very finely milled. They don't look glittery, but they just, they just give off a nice sheen. I really do like the Becca highlighters I've tried. Another highlighting product that I was using is one from Pure, and this is a Pure, um, it's a highlighting palette, and it's actually cream products, and this is the Strobe Highlight Palette in Moonlit Glow. I was really surprised that I liked this as much as I did. They did send this to me, but um, and they sent two. The other one is, I think, Sun Kissed Glow, and this is Moonlit Glow. This one's obviously a little bit cooler, which is what I prefer. But these are like a cream to powder. They don't feel like a cream at all because I'm not I'm not a cream product person usually. I, I just don't really care for them. But these do not feel like a cream at all when you put them on. They blend out very nicely. And I was really impressed with these and I reached this a lot more than I expected to. Um, the one that I used mainly was this, this guy right here which is... Twilight, this top cut. Okay, and now for eye things. This is my favorite category because eye makeup is my favorite. I have two palettes and six single eyeshadows. <laughs> the first thing is one that I didn't use as much in the uh, end of the year, but I used it a lot in the beginning of the year when I first got it, and that is the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes Palette. I purchased all three of these, and I really liked these. They are probably the best drugstore palette that I've purchased. The nudes one is just nudes. Uh, there's one, two, two mattes. This brown is like a, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. And then there's some glitter shades. And these are just really nice. They are easy to work with. It's a very nice travel palette, I think, because especially like a, kind of like a weekend palette, you can, you know, if you don't want to take your full naked palette or something like that, you can pop this in your travel bag and you can do, uh, you know, some darker looks. You can do some natural looks. Very, very nice eyeshadows. Uh, I was quite quite impressed with these and I really liked all three. I could have probably chosen all three but I just the nudes was the one that I just grabbed. The other palette that I have I don't know if this is cheating and please don't be mad at me because I know this palette was ridiculous to get your hands on but I've used it so much in the last two months I've used it probably more than anything else that I've talked about. <laughs> I've used it so much. And that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Master Palette by Mario. I know, I don't be mad, I'm sorry. This palette is ridiculous. You can't find it anywhere, I don't think. And if you can, just buy it. Maybe buy two and then like sell one on eBay or something. I don't even know. And I don't know what it is about these colors that are so beautiful. I think they just blend so well. Um, the green and the like really dark, it's probably, it's basically black, but it's like a black and blue. They do work better over a base of a similar color. Uh, the green looks a little bit, mm, the green looks better over a green. But, oh my gosh. I've just used this palette so much and I've just sort of, I can't really think of a palette that I've enjoyed so much in a while. And I like the Anastasia palettes and I have a couple of them but this is by far my favorite of those and I'm sorry I almost didn't even show it because I was like people are going to be mad because you can't get it but it's so good. The colors are pigmented and blendable and buildable and workable and they just work really nicely together and I know you're like, oh that's a palette, that's how that should be. But some palettes just aren't like that. The next eye products are single eyeshadows. I have two from NYX and four from ColourPop. The NYX ones I'm just going to talk about very quickly because I'm just going to. But I have two of the prismatic shadows. I sort of fell in love with these this year. 
I have acquired several of them and these were just two of my favorites. This is Jaded, this gorgeous, gorgeous green. And then this one is Punk Heart and it is a really beautiful purple. These are very fragile. Um, this one broke, <laughs> but it does still work. So we're going with it, but oh, I just love these. They're all um, glittery or metallic, prismatic. And they're just beautiful. I have several of them. I want several more. I love these so much. They are extremely pigmented. They blend well. They last. I love, love them. And I have four from ColourPop. So the four that I have are Kathleen Lights from the, I believe this is from the Where the Night Is collab that Kathleen Lights did. This gorgeous, gorgeous bronze copper color. These, like, I can't say no to these colors. I love them so much. Uh, Flower Child, or I'm sorry, Flower Shop. This stunning green. And I have swatches I'll show you in a second. Uh, Dasher, I have no clue what collection this is from, but this is really beautiful purple with a pink shimmer in it. Stunning. And then this is Paisley. This is one of their glitter shears. This is, I think, from their fall collection. If you have Alchemy from the Jamie King collab, these are exactly the same. If you can tell them apart, you go right ahead. But I had both and I swatched them side by side and I was like, yep, don't know which is which. They look exactly the same. So you don't need both. If you miss out on Alchemy, you can get Paisley. And I highly recommend it. Their glitter shears are awesome for layering over any color, but just adding up. They're so sparkly on your eyelids. It's beautiful. So these are the swatches. There's Kathleen Lights, Flower Shop, Dasher, and Paisley. I like Paisley so much more than I anticipated. It looks so beautiful tapped on over just any color, but especially darker colors. I have three mascaras to talk about, which is really weird because I feel like I'm really picky with mascara. I have bemoaned this a thousand times. I have a decent length to my eyelashes but they just do not hold a curl at all so I'm always complaining about my mascara but I found three that I like so we're gonna talk about them. The first is from the drugstore and this is Maybelline the Falsies push-up drama. This is actually really good. It has a hold on let me open it. It has a rubber bristle brush on it Again, that's aren't my favorite, but apparently I, I like them okay. Uh, this gives good definition and length, and it is not clumpy. I can't say that they look like false lashes, but they definitely uh, it definitely lengthens and separates your eyelashes. I did not have this get clumpy on me at all. Really like this one. Next two are both high end mascaras, which I really hate because. I really hate spending so much money on a mascara that I know is only going to last for three, maybe four months. The first is from It Cosmetics. This is their superhero mascara. This stuff is amazing. Oh, it's so good. It has a natural bristle brush, a conical wand, and it's just, it's just amazing. It's very black. Again, lengthens, defines, doesn't clump. I have a little like baby sample of this and I'm hoarding it. I just, I won't even open it yet because I'm, I just don't want to use it. I want to just keep it. So I always have one. <laughs> the other one is from Pure Cosmetics. This is our fully charged mascara. And I love this. I have, I'm currently using a deluxe sample of this and I love this. This has sort of sort of an hourglass shaped wand on it, natural bristle brush, and again it lengthens, it defines, it builds volume. This one can get a little clumpy if you put too many coats on, but I pretty much don't ever do more than two anyway because I'm lazy. Really like this. Guy. Next things that I have are tools or like skincare products. So the first is a tool and it is a brush. And this is one of the Wet n Wild eye brushes. This is the Fluffy Crease Brush. I found this once when they first came out and then I've never seen this again because it is always sold out every time I see a display of it. I love this brush so much. It is super soft, it's nice and fluffy. It's dirty because I use it every day. 
it's very fluffy if you can find this brush absolutely do it try it it's amazing it's very soft i love 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 this brush and i think it's like a dollar the next tool is a skincare item and this is the foreo foreo however you want to say it uh mini luna or luna mini i'm sorry and i've had this for i think it was about this time last year and I used it and then I just got really lazy and I put it away but I grabbed it out about four or five months ago and I've been using it every day and I'm like totally on board with this. It feels really nice on your skin. I love that you don't have to change the head. The head is really easy to clean because you can get in there and clean the bristles. Probably the most amazing thing about this is that it holds a charge forever I think. I've charged this once. I got this last year. I charged it when I initially got it, used it, and then just sort of like let it sit in the shower and didn't use it. And I've been using this every day for the past four, maybe five months, and it's not dead yet. Like, I don't I don't really know how that's possible. Uh, there are two like settings on this one. I don't know if you'll be able to hear, but the first is a little bit faster. And then the second setting is slower. Uh, this vibrates for 30 seconds at a time, then there's a pause and it keeps vibrating, so you, that's when you know to move it to a different part of your face. It shuts off after maybe a minute and a half. I'm not timed how long this lasts. I don't really wash my face for more than a minute and a half. <laughs> not even a minute, probably. But uh, I really, really like this. They do have a smaller one now called the Play, which is like a little little baby guy. Um, I do have a link for this down below. I'll have to see if there's a code. I can't remember what the code is. It is an affiliate link. So if you use it, thank you. If not, you can just purchase this and you know on your own. But I really, really have been enjoying this. The next skin thing is the Garnier Skin Active. Okay, I say micellar cleansing water, but I heard a commercial for this the other day and they said micellar. So that was weird. I'm still gonna call it my cellar. I love this. This, t this is what I use every night to take off my makeup. I've gone through several of these. This does not leave a residue. It doesn't burn. It takes off all my makeup. The blue cap, the waterproof makeup remover, I feel like that does leave a residue and I do not care for that one. Um, but this I love and I think they're coming out with a mattifying one in the spring and I'm super stoked to try that because you know if I can map my face, I'm gonna. Uh, but I really, really like this. It's very affordable. I think it's $6.99 and there's like always coupons and sales for it. Love this a lot. The last item is my Bestie and Beauty lip mask. I, oh my gosh, I love this. It smells like tea and roses. It smells so good. And I just slather this on my lips before I go to bed at night. My lips wake up moisturized. They don't feel dry or gross. I love this so much. It is definitely my favorite lip mask that I've used. Guys, let me know what your favorite products for 2016 were. Thank you so much for your support this year on my channel. I have some goals and some plans and some things that I'm excited about for my channel in the next year, so I hope that you will stick around. If you guys have any video suggestions or things that you want to see, please let me know. Um, I really appreciate all your comments and, you know, the fact that you subscribe to my channel and watch is like amazing and still kind of weird to me but I really appreciate it it's definitely not something that I'm like really professional at but I enjoy doing it and it's fun and I want to keep doing it so hopefully everyone wants to keep watching let me know like I said your favorite products or songs or any favorites from 2016 thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you guys next year.